At the advice of our good friend, Jess Carlozzi, we are going to attempt to make the Funny Bone Oreo 3.0 the same way we did the Twinkie 1.0. Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Oreo Combos. It's the show where we take an Oreo and something else, put them together and make something new. Hopefully something better. I'm your host as always, Jason Oliveira, and with us today are Funny Bones and Oreos, fudge-covered Oreos. This seems to be the best combination, I think, that we're going to get. I did pick up some Nutter Butter cookies. I was thinking about maybe putting the Nutter Butter or peanut butter inside of the fudge-covered Oreo and removing the cream that way, but I think Jess is right. The way we did the Oreos is going to be the best result. So let's start busting into these, do some dissection, and see what we end up with today. You guys having a good week? I'm having a pretty good week. I've been in pain, constant pain, terrible pain. Are these mint? I don't know what this is or why it was in there, but we're going to throw it away because I'm a little nervous about that. I forgot my knife. Hold on. I am Optimus Prime. Hi, I'm Jason Oliveira. It's nice to meet you. I was walking by Optimus Prime and he just turned on. That's never happened before. It freaked me out, to be completely honest. Let's hope we have just as much luck dissecting these this time as we did last time. I think it was just a little poof. Yep, done. Good. Excellent. Got to get that white cream out of there. That sweet white cream. Normally, I would just leave the white cream there if I was eating an Oreo, but we're not eating a regular Oreo today. We're eating a custom-made Funny Bone Oreo. Have you ever had Funny Bones? They're more of a northern thing than they are a southern thing. They're hard to find around here. One or two stores carries them occasionally, and when they do, I try to grab as many as I can in, so that I'll have them in situations when I'm making Oreo combos, apparently. I don't eat a lot of sugar, as you know, because it'll fucking kill you. But when I do, Funny Bones are the little pastry treats that I like. Little Debbie, you ain't got nothing. Hostess, you can go F yourself. F yourself in the A. I didn't mean that. I like Twinkies. <laughs> Phase one is complete. We have our Oreo shell and a chocolate coating, just like you'll find here on the Funny Bones. You know what? I think I have an open box of these. Hang on. I did. I really did. Here we go. Funny Bones. Funny Bones, uh, if you didn't know what they are, they're just basically a kind of a fudge frosting chocolate covered chocolate devil's food cake inside with uh, peanut butter or a peanut butter cream. I feel like we want to avoid the ends. I think I'll go dead center again and I'm going to grab, I don't know. See, these, do these have a chocolate coating. The Twinkies didn't. So I don't know if this is going to be the best technique for the Funny Bone Oreo. Nonetheless, we got our cross section. I'm going to get it inside the Oreo because I don't want to worry about taking pictures at the moment. Maybe later we'll take some product shots. It's still too much. I don't think this is right, Jess. I don't think this is going to work. I'll give it a whirl, though. This drama costs too much, yeah. I'm not willing to pay. A clean slate. It's better than version one where we just basically took two cookies, put it in between, and bit it. It's a little more controlled. I was able to get the amount of cream slash cake that I wanted in there. I don't believe that was worth the time or effort. I don't know that we will ever find the perfect Funny Bone Oreo unless Oreo decides to produce it themselves. However, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to continue this search. I think I just... Yeah, yeah, I just had a thought. I think I know what's wrong with these. I think it's the crunchy cookie. For some reason it worked with the Twinkie, but for some reason it's not working with the Funny Bone. It's either too much flavor, or the crunch is taken away from the fact that there's no crunch in, in the Funny Bone. I know there's no crunch in a, uh, a Twinkie either. Imagine if there was. What would you put in a Twinkie to make it crunchy? Huh. But in this case, it's causing a real problem. So I think what I might try to do for version 4.0 is we'll get the Oreo Cakesters and then try that with the funny bone on the inside. I mean, am I going over the top here? Should I go with a different flavor? I don't feel like we're ever going to perfect the Oreo funny bone until Oreo finally decides to get off their ass and make a funny bone Oreo. But we will continue to try until the end of time, or at least until, uh, you know, I expire. 
if you guys have any ideas of things you'd like to see me put inside of Oreos and try to make them better or different, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can put that combination together for you. But until then, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you love watching the content I'm creating as much as I love creating the content you're watching, then you should consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. And hit the little bell icon over there. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make someone smile today and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today, tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and the rain as one, my brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However... Oh, it's time to get serious. Never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another and take care of those around you who can't take care of themselves for they are the ones that need it the most. If no one has told you today that they love you, the podcast loves you very much just the way you are. All right. Take care, guys, and I'll see you a little bit further on down the road. Don't go to sleep with a catch it in your pocket. <laughs>